shoot! Look at them, they're just sitting there they're like, hey, this guy's shooting at us. I'm at grid one, one, <laughs> seven, zero, <laughs> five, four. Okay. Three is down. Oh, do you read? Over. We lost four. Machine gun. Position one, one, six, zero, five, three. Report position. Six is dead. I'm at grid one, zero, six, zero, seven, zero. Okay. Strong point. Captured near Olama. Um, okay, Enemy so you know what? PC. 12 o'clock. Two clicks. Two. Move. Two clicks. 12 o'clock. Copy. Wait. Two clicks. Oh, guess from my position. So I'm gonna get... Okay, so he's already taken that. Let's actually... Two. Move. Two clicks. 12 o'clock. Understood. Two. Danger. Alright, um... I'm just gonna buy them with the, the guys inside, so... Uh, Anti-tank guided missile. So yeah, let's go with one of these, another one of these, and one of these. Enemy. Truck. Far. And I'm gonna jump on one of the grenade launchers, because I don't like my uh, Seven buddy shooting. Gun. Medium range. Enemy. Tank. 12 o'clock. Two clicks. And you know what, before I move anywhere, I'm going back to here, checking teams. Did you guys get yourself killed? And, ah, look at you. Five. Nobody on five. Hey, number two. Um. One, two, two, zero, four, five. Ten. Ten. Two o'clock. One click. There we go. I sent off number two. I figure if I can get an entire, like an entirely new team, like a, another team out in the field, you know, it's uh, it's more worth it to me than sending one guy on probably a suicide mission. See, now if I go back to teams, you know, it's at least one, he's, look, location back at base. So he's going to be buying his stuff, he's going to be getting ready to go. Uh, so I guess I'm going to have to stay on top of that. Um, so... Where are my my boys? Here's one. I'm gonna jump on ye this one. In fact, there we go. Uh, my aim is gonna be totally awful with this. So I've got one vehicle, two vehicle, three of them. Let's go fast travel back to Gorka. Move to Gorka. And once again, it's going to take me all the way around. Report position. That just cracks me up. All right, so up there. So. I think I might actually be running out of things to say. <laughs> uh, I guess certain towns are connected to each one uh, via the fast travel, you know, behind the scenes and the programming. So I guess I'm not, I don't have in any other town except for that one there that's close, to, close enough to Gorka to... Alright, let's try this again. Oh, move to one, one, zero, nine, zero, seven, two. Roger. Why do I only have two? Oh, don't tell me number four, you're somewhere else. Four, report status. One, zero, six, zero, five. Yup. I didn't fast travel one of my units, so now I'm going in without them. Well, at least buddy behind me has got a... Like, way behind me has got a... Uh, nice anti-tank missile on them, so that'll make quick work of tanks and APCs. If they don't get us first. You know, you 
said there's an enemy over here. Now, that's, that's one thing I must say about this game, um, like I am running Fraps, so it is, you know, significantly impacting my frame rate, but, you know, unlike a lot of other first person, let's say, shooters, and I kind of cringe even putting it in the same category as some of these others, um, but unlike some of the other ones, this one here is actually playable at a lower frame rate, like it's, um, if I'm sitting around 15 to 20, it's actually kind of playable. Um, I prefer 30, which is, you know, what I'm kind of used to, but right now I'm hovering, you know, anywhere between 11 and 15. Oh, yeah. I like my anti-tank guy. I hear some gunfire. I'm trying to pinpoint where it's coming from. Why do you have a... S okay, I was like, please don't leave us sitting out in the middle of a field. I don't feel like being sniper food. Because a sniper will just, you know, come out of nowhere and eat me. Was anyone in there? Well, there isn't now. Buddy, take my position in the gunner seat? No. Um. Three. Um, okay, who do I have in here? I am currently riding with... Uh, get, I've got to get quicker with this. Um, this. I know five is in here. So five... Whoever's with five? Ready. Six. Uh, six. Um, dang, you, you can't get out, really? Six, six. Get out. dismount. Six. Gonna get in that car. Ready. Roger. Ready. And I'm just gonna ride in the back again. All right. So we got one place. Yeah, I'm still waiting for. Oh wait, no. Number four made it. Sweet. So we got three of us. All right. Let's go. Give these guys heck. Um. Let's move out. Oh. Move to one. One. Nine or zero. Eight. One. And night begins to fall. Now, uh, one thing I did want to explain, uh, you know, since the beginning it's been switching to night and day. Um, you know, it, the transition and even the clouds, if you look up there, they're moving pretty quick. It's not the nicest um, transitions. Um, I just wanted to remind everyone that I am, uh, if you look, you know, the clock is accelerated. Um, you know, so night and day pass a lot more. Um, and that's why things look uh, choppy the way they do. Um, like some other missions I've played, uh, or when I put it at regular time, um, it actually everything runs very smoothly. Like you, uh, you know, the the, the um, sun sets nice and slowly. It's 
you know, it's a lot nicer. Um, so, you know, just to clarify, that's not just the game being, you know, crappy and some, some such, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's because of the, the accelerated time that, uh, it also accelerates, uh, you know, the, uh, the clouds ahead a little bit more. Uh, you know, you could say that it's, you, you just make it move quicker. Um, in a way, though, I almost think that that would kind of look a little bit, um, goofy. Uh, I could be wrong, though, you know. But, uh, I don't know, just the idea of seeing clouds, you know, cycling super quick, especially if you make, like, the, the night cycle, you know, every 15 minutes or something like that. Uh, I think it would look a little bit goofy. But then again, you know, it being choppy looks just as bad, so... Eh. It's, it's easier on your system to do it this way. And with a game as, uh, you know, intensive as uh, Arma 2, um, you know, every little break uh, is uh, greatly appreciated. Because, uh, you know, some of us can't afford the big gaming rigs, but, um, but we love our PC games, so... And that's the boat I'm in. If I had the money, man, I'd have myself a, you know, a killer system, but uh, I don't. So I, I make do with what I have, and uh, my system, we'll say, isn't the best, but it's definitely not the worst, and I'm grateful for it. Um, you know, PC, the PC is, I think, so much more superior as a gaming system than uh, any console. I find uh, most console games now are just... Um, yeah, they're, 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 they're going mainstream. They're going... It's... Uh, you know, back in the day, you know, when, you know, well, I feel old, uh, you know, when I played video games, uh, you know, we had to, you know, fight our bosses uphill both ways, you know, <laughs> uh, through, uh, you know, 20 feet of enemies, uh, with no continues and three lives, sort of thing, you know. Um, uh, oh, move 50 meters. Nine o'clock. Solid copy. Ready. So, um... I don't know. I guess uh, I'm kind of a, a grumpy old man when it comes to, to video games. Uh, I don't like a, a lot of the changes that have uh, come about. Uh, you know, I grew up on, you know, the original Super Mario Brothers and Mega Man, and, well, actually I grew up with, you know, the old, uh, the old, uh, what's the number of it? The old Atari, you know, it had the wood grain finish on it. Um... You know, I, I grew up on those kind of things, and, you know, when games were about just the fun. Uh, you know what, screw it, oh, I'm just gonna... Move 200 meters. 9 o'clock. I'm just gonna go capture it. Uh, and not everything had to be about graphics. Now, don't get me wrong, I like graphics. Graphics are cool, they really add, you know, they help add to the immersion, uh, but they shouldn't be a selling point. Um, I think too many, too many people get caught up on, um, you know, how awesome a game looks. Uh, and then when they play it, you know, they're so blinded by what they see that they don't realize that they're actually playing a real crappy game. Um, now, like Arma 2, I find everything in the graphics helps to immerse you into the game, immerse you into the world that you're in. Um, so I think everything serves a purpose graphically. Uh, you know, from the grass. Uh, now, I said in a previous video that, uh, you know, the AI could see through the grass, and um, I've seen a lot of people argue about this. Um, you know, I was like, did we just get shot? Um, a lot of people argue about this. Some people say um, that they can see through the grass and that you're at a disadvantage, but then other people say that, um, you know, it's not necessarily they see through the grass. They might see the top of your backpack. They might know that you were there. They might have seen you go down. Um, so their suppressive fire can still hit you. Um, so that, I guess, is, we'll say is not... Um, I don't know if it's confirmed or not. Um, to me, you know, um, I guess it would make sense that the grass would serve a purpose. Because I know at range, when you can't see the grass, it looks like the soldier is actually... Um, you know, stuck in the ground. Why are we... Oh, that's right, there was a tank coming. Okay. Um, there, uh... Oh, what was I saying? That's right, when, you, when you're looking from far away, you can actually see, it looks like, you know, your opponent or whoever it is is sort of sticking halfway out of the ground. 
Um, and I wonder if that's how the AI sees. Um, you know, if you're if you're down, you're gone, you've gone prone, uh, and oh, I'm just gonna get them to move here. Oh, move one click. Eight o'clock. Uh, I'll let uh, let me see. Teams, is everyone still assembled? Okay. Um, yeah, when the comp uh, when you go prone, uh, you know it's like you disappear into the ground uh, at the distance, and you can see part of it poking up. So it makes me wonder if that's um, you know how the AI sees. Uh, if when it looks, there's a certain layer above the ground layer that actually serves as cover uh, for a certain distance, um, and. Uh, you know that kind of that little bit about the uh, you know when you, when you are looking at a distance and you see someone just seem to disappear into the ground. I think that little bit of evidence uh, helps to support the fact that uh, maybe the AI you know can't see through grass. Um, maybe they can see just enough in like low grass or depending on the distance away. Um, so I'm actually going to change my point of view uh, from before uh, in my previous video and actually I'm going to side with. The people who say that the AI cannot see through the grass. I'm a team changer. Um, okay, we're gonna go through these trees, I guess. All right. Oh, okay, there's a path. Cool. Um, so, yeah, and then that would make sense with as mu as much detail and how uh, much care. Uh, um, well, I'm going to pronounce it wrong. Oh, Bohemia uh, has put into the this game here. As um, it, it would seem kind of silly to give uh, the computers that kind of an advantage. Now, um, that, that, that's uh, I know I touched this on, I touched on this in a previous video, but it seems like everybody seems to play on veteran. Um, I, when I when I hear people talking, well, a lot of people talk about veteran as being that. Super hard, you know, ver you know, difficulty that everyone plays on and strives to get to. Um, so, you know, and I'm playing on expert. So I'm wondering, uh, is there if there's a particular reason uh, why expert isn't considered, you know, the hard difficulty? Because um, there's actually an option. While we're driving, I'll show it to you. Um, options, game options, uh, and other difficulty. You can actually edit uh, your difficulties. Now, expert is uneditable, you gotta be an expert, oh, actually, I guess you're not, sorry, certain parts of uh, expert are uneditable. Now, I can't edit while I'm uh, in the game, but you can click on edit, and it's got different things like armor, um, you know, how, it's got some sliders to show how accurate and how, uh, you know, aware the, uh, the AI is, um, and I, you know, I noticed, you know, expert's got everything turned right against you, um, now, it actually even has you know, armor off. Uh, and I noticed that about, uh, uh, while, while I've been playing on Expert, is that, you know, I just take a couple hits, bam, I'm gone. Um, and to me, you know, I, you know, I hear real life stories about, you know, the armor, it does provide protection. Um, so I wonder if that's maybe why more people play on Veteran than on uh, Expert, because on Expert you can't turn on the armor at all. Um, so... Uh, I wonder if actually veteran is more uh, is more accurate to the real thing than expert is. Um, I don't know if there, anyone knows. Uh, let me know. I'll be doing some uh, some uh, my uh, I'll be doing some research on my own because um, I I want to play on you know I want to play it difficult. I want to play it hard. Uh, I've been doing that since I got the game, uh, but at the same time I want it to be you know realistic. If I can take an extra hit. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, you know, expecting to, you know, you know, literally Rambo everything here, uh, you know, shrug off bullets, but, uh, if it's more realistic that way, then I would like to play that way, but, okay, where are we here? And it looks like we're making some good progress here.